What's up, Otters? Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to write a press release. First off, I wanna say there are different reasons to create a press release, so we need to understand why you're doing your press release before we discuss how to write the press release to make sure we're writing it for the right mediums. So in my opinion, there's two reasons to write a press release. One is to get information picked up by the media. So that's telling an information or telling an interesting story so that the media will actually pick it up and publish it in other places. The other reason is to release public information. I think that a lot of larger companies or companies that are just getting funded really just need to release information so that way it's public knowledge or that there's kind of some record of it for legal reasons or other kind of reasons like that. Um, so if you're just releasing information, whether that be to the public or just to get a little bit of that SEO boost and make sure that there's some credibility behind the story you're telling, there's not a big deal on the way the press release is written because your goal is not to get it picked up. Your goal is just to have that press release out there. Uh, so in that sense, you can write it pretty much in any way you want. Get the information out there. Press releases do have to be informational. Um, they have to be more or less non-biased and they have to just kind of tell a story. Um, so that's the simple, just getting it out on the wire. Now, the more important and harder part is how to get a press release picked up by national media, by TV stations and things like that. And so that's where writing your press release becomes very important. So what actually happens once you release a press release to the wire is that it basically gets emailed to different editors and they'll kind of come in an inbox and they'll take a look and they'll decide if they're gonna pick it up, share it to a journalist, an editor, or kind of create a story based on that. Uh, so that first and most important thing is the title of your press release. It needs to capture the attention. It needs to be thought provoking. It needs to tell the story in basically less than a sentence. And uh, that's the hardest part for a lot of people is think of it as a subject of an email. If you have a good cold email going out and your subject catches the attention of an editor, then they're gonna at least go in and read the first paragraph. Uh, so that's why your title is so important. So when you get in there, think about what is the point of this and why would someone wanna pick it up? For us, what we try to do is when we're doing a press release, if we are gonna do one, it's to match current events. So for instance, if there was a big COVID story and one of our clients somehow came up with a cure or a vaccine to COVID or kind of a, a remedy that was really helping people. And this was all factual again, I'm um, using this hypothetical, but the title would be something like vitamin C prevents COVID. Obviously this is not true, uh, but it would be very catching and very timely if this was during the, the pandemic. Um, so then once you do get that click in a sense of that open email, you have that first paragraph, which is critical to tell your story. And really here, you're telling the journalist or the editor why they need to pick up your story, why it's so important, why it's important to the audience. Uh, again, remember that you're pitching a story and yes, you need the editor's interest, but really the goal is to have more traffic to their news site. So how are you becoming interesting? How are you adding value to the news so that actual users and traffic listeners want to listen to that story? All right, so that's your first paragraph where you're actually kind of summarizing what you want to do. I always say, keep it really short, keep it to the point and have a call to action there. Uh, past that, once you jump into the actual article or the release, that's where you can give a little bit more information, give some background, give some facts, bring in a quote or two from uh, powered CEOs, from executives, uh, people that have opinions on your topic and then summarize it again with a call to action. Um, the summary should be very short. It kind of reflects what the top is. But again, the goal here is to get it picked up. So most press releases will say, kind of contact Scott Bartnick at Otter PR. And that's where they'll get more information about that article. But you wanna really, again, end it with why they're contacting you. So what's the point of the story? And the point of this story is that vitamin C is preventing COVID cases. So you really wanna have that really dialed down and to the point. I think of it when I pitch someone, when I send an email pitch, I usually only keep it to a paragraph or two. I keep it really short. So I say same thing with your press release writing, maybe 400, 500 words max, uh, anything longer. Sometimes they won't even get released because there are limitations, um, but it's just not gonna be interesting. You're gonna lose people's attention after that point. So a lot of times I'll even get them down to 200 words and just more bulleted, important information. This is what we're covering. This is why you need to reach out to us. Again, you're trying to draw the attention of an editor or the media to read this and then contact you because uh, they're called action. Their next step is to contact you for more information. All right, guys, I hope this helps you write your first press release. If you have any questions, reach out to us at any time at otterpr.com. Thank you.